My name is Matthew Dickinson. I work at the University of Central Lancashire. Um, I'm a senior lecturer here and I also lead up the uh, exoskeleton project. Uh, I've been involved in, a, in an initiative called Prime Engineer. One year we had an entry from a young woman, Christina Marshall. Phenomenally good idea. She simply said, why is there not something out there to help children who can move? And you can't, what she was referring to is really sitting up. And when we saw the design, kind of looked and thought, she's talking about an exoskeleton. So we started to get to work. We started to look at the idea of two important things. One, cost. The other, is this for children? How is this going to be even remotely useful? So what we did is we thought, right, let's just machine it. Make it out of aluminium. Just build, build a prototype. The cost of this uh, turned out to be quite expensive. I went back to my office, sat and I sulked. Realised, you know what? What if we print it? And at the time, it was kind of like, yeah, it might work, it might not. This is PLA off the shelf. So we started printing, started making the first generation, as we are calling it. And what um, we realised is that by being able to have the alternate material print, it offered huge potential in not just this application, but in many applications. However, with a dual head, it gave us that capability of being able to mix things up, look at uh, internal cores, different different uh, material types, external shells, different material types, TPUs to nylons, different types, to look at the better performance. We went from idea, on Christina's idea, piece of paper, and we went through to design, we went through to prototype, built, and on our mannequin in six months. The whole thing was done in this process. Any other way, I think, would have been impossible.